Okay, in this session, actually, we will talk about fetching APIs. As you can see, there's data, and you should be very familiar with this data because it's a list of dictionaries. Of course, this is a JSON file. Guys, there is no big difference between JSON and dictionary. So as you can see, the difference is this JSON most of the time it's a list of dictionaries. And all the time, whenever we write JSON, the JSON should be in a square bracket. Maybe I think I have to show you. Uh, a JSON should be a string anyway. It's a string kind of this type. It should be like this and it should be And now, name. H150 is married. True. Hills. As you can see, the keys and the values should be all the time with uh, double code, double code. You, it's not allowed to use a single code, okay? Like in dictionary. So, and the, the value should be also string, okay? Yeah, so it should be something like this. Now, you see it like this because it is parsed. Let me just uh, remove the parsing maybe. Do I stop the parsing for the time being without parsing? I have to stop it. Oh, yeah. Uh, have you seen the row? Oh, yeah. Why? So fast. Yeah. Do you see here? If I stop the parsing, by the way, how I managed to see it like this, I want you to install uh, JSON Chrome extension. Yeah. Just, so if you just uh, install this Chrome extension, I can just also share with you, click over there and add it to your browser. And then whenever you open any kind of API, you will see a very uh, clean formatted version as you can see, yeah? Great, yep. So now if I change this to row, have you seen it? It's actually a string. Yeah, it's a string, but the browser, browser, this the JSON view uh, Chrome extension is helping me to look at it in a more parsed, clean way. So let me just parse the value. Why is it taking forever? And maybe I have to load it after the parse. Yeah. So as you can see, it's so clean. So what do I see here? Maybe I think I have to explain this. I see uh, 67 items and each item is actually like this, one item. And inside this item, there are also another keys. Now look at these items and different cats actually, different cats. Okay, we can... We do have this kind 67 or 68. Uh, I told all the dictionaries do have the same items, but as you can see, some may not have yet. So, but we don't worry about that because we are somehow interested today, the weight of a cat or maybe uh, the breed of, I mean, the name of the cats and all those kind. So yeah, uh, for instance, as you can see this cat, the weight in empirical unit, six to 12 in metric unit, three to five kilogram and the name Burmese cat. Let's see the different cats, how they look like. Uh, if you go to 30 days of JavaScript, there's already an application that shows different cats. Uh, maybe I can show you the cats over there. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, since it's an, in, an, an API, it just takes some amount. As you can see, this is an Abyssinian Kai, uh, cat. <laughs> and this is, what is uh, Greece, uh, from a Greece. And then uh, again, American Bobtail. And uh, let's see, yeah. Oh yeah, then if you are a cat person, you will have a chance to enjoy different kind of cats. Oh, who is a cat person here? May I know? No, you don't have to. But anyway, the, here there are quite lots of cats and you will have a chance to see all the cats in the world of different breeds. So why we need to know about this? Now we are doing actually data exploration. I am just helping you to know where this data came. This data came from actually from this API. Yep, I have used this API to create this website anyway, guys, for the cats. Yeah, all the information comes from that API. Now you've got an idea that API is actually a kind of data uh, that comes from some server. So this is the data and this can be used uh, for analysis or to be displayed on website. You and I together, we are not going to build website, but we will use it to do some analysis, to do some visualization or to do some calculation, yeah. And yeah, so the different cats like goes all the way down, but if you are interested on more cats, I can just share this website with you and do whatever you want. And yeah. uh, maybe if I go here, uh, you can get them even by categories. Uh, we have one type of uh, Greece uh, cat, cat from Greece is just one kind and it looks like this. Oh yeah. Uh, United Arab Emirates, yeah, this is the cat you get from United Arab Emirates. And the kind of cats you can get from Australia against just one kind. Uh, uh, Cyprus, uh, China, even from China, it's just one. Japan, Isle of Man. But for your surprise, most of the cats are from the United States. 28 cats, Egypt, three cats. Russia, four cats. If you want to see the four Russian cats, oh yeah, I don't know if this looks like a cat or something else, whatever. And you have actually the four cats over here. And Thailand, yeah, I think I'm a kind of a cat person. I, I love looking at cats anyway. So this is the data now you know. And all this data came from uh, uh, here, this API. So how do we fetch this data using Python? Oh yeah. So something I didn't teach you so far is actually the PIP. Yeah. So PIP is actually the official package, uh, the, the official website that allows you to install different packages. So now today I will use requests package to fetch uh, APIs. As you can see, it says requests. So how do I install? I just copy this, copy. And I want you just to install this on your computer somewhere you can go here or maybe anywhere you want. You just right click. Uh, I think I have to just paste it here. I thought I copied that. Let me just copy again. Yeah, so I just install it here. Oh yeah, so it's installed now. Uh, it says you're uh, using pip version 21 whatsoever. Uh, you should upgrade something like that. If you want to upgrade, you, this is what you should do. Copy this part in upgrade to latest and it will be upgraded soon.
Mm. Uh, you don't have to really worry that much. I'm sure in the first place, it, it has been already installed. So now let's make use of the fetching data. Fetching data or fetch, fetching data the py. Okay, so the first thing we do, import requests. Yep, this request. Then uh, this request actually uh, in, in uh, what this, uh, in any website or any kind of communication on the internet, there is this protocol, client server communication, server server communication with the client. For instance, I am the client. When I am just loading this, I'm sending a request to the server to get this data, to fetch this data. I'm getting it, I can see it. So the server actually gave me this data. So we have to use gate. So, hey, request, I can say, hey, requesters, could you please get me some data from where? I have to give it. Okay, from where, from this. Then I have to actually store this URL or cats URL, cats API URL. Maybe I can just store it as in a string like this. Then I can pass the cats API, cats API URL. Yep. From this, I had to know if everything goes right. Sometimes when you are trying to access some server, the uh, you may not get what you want. Either it's a success or a failure. To know, let's store this with a response. We can call it anything, but I can just call it response, okay? This gives like whenever you just send a request, now it gives me some kind of object to know what we have in the object i can say print der response to see what is in the response der is a very powerful functional i mean uh, a built-in function over there to help you know what is no module named requests so we didn't actually uh, install this properly or maybe i think i have to uh, access this uh, here, like this. Sometimes, uh, what's the name? Python and the file name fetching. Yeah, it is there actually. Sometimes when you do this, the, this file might not be accessed. So as you can see, this uh, response go different methods over here. Uh, for instance, uh, if you say apparent encoding, close, connection, content, if you say, then I can just comment this out. And if you print, print, and then response, and then content, uh, you may get the content actually. Uh, cookies, the cookies, the header, and different of a status code to know the status. Uh, for instance, the status is actually very important to know. Print response dot status code. And let's see if it is 200, actually it's successful. No, oh yeah, I have to run it like this. Uh, again, uh, I have to go see week uh, three and run it differently and Python and fetching data, as you can see, 200. That's great. And then just to remind you the different methods. Oh, we don't have the methods anymore. Let's just print this again. Yeah, as you can see, request and the status code. Okay, something. But I think what I'm interested in, JSON, this JSON, what is what do we get by doing? And we uh, can print the JSON file. Print 
response and JSON actually as in a function we invoke it. And if I just run now this, I will get all the data. Yeah, that is all the data. Now I am about to use from P print import P print. And this actually make the printing much prettier and you will see it in a more elegant way. So let's see. Oh yeah, all the cats on our hands, right? Watch out, you might be scratched by the some, yeah, you can see the temperament. Temperament means how they behave actually. Active, agile, clever, different cats. Okay. So, so this uh, is, yeah. If I understood correctly, this, this, the JSON file is basically once you want to, to take something from a, a website, you're using, you, it's the computer needs to use, use the JSON file. Like it, it's like a way of, of it, like to sort of like put it all in one, one file and then and bring it to your computer. Or like, or what is exactly? Okay, yeah. Jason means uh, in uh, in IT industry we have two way of putting data. So data we store in a form of JSON. That is the one we see. This is one form. Another yeah. data type is CSV. Do you know CSV data? No. CSV data could be, I can show you somewhere, CSV, uh, for instance, I can take you CSV to this common uh, North Wind, North Wind data. Now GitHub, if I, it will take me to North Wind, uh, and I will show you the different uh, data. Oh, not in paste, please. I am looking for uh, CSV data, mm, please. So I have to run away from this. Uh, maybe CSV, if I add CSV, maybe I may improve my, I think, yeah, I think this do have, uh, this, for instance, CSV means C comma separated value. Uh, again, this is not, it says that comma separated value, but it's, it doesn't really, mm. what's wrong with that? So JSON uses yes, it for every language? Comma separated, no, wait. Uh, so as you can see now, we have a comma separated value. Do you see order ID? Yes. And this, all this value are, belongs to order ID. And customer ID, these are the customer IDs. Yeah. And the employee ID, for instance, if it's a table, we were expecting a border, right? A vertical mm -hmm. border. But now we are expecting actually comma. So that's why we call it CSV, comma separated values. These are the columns mm -hmm. and these are the rows. Okay, yes. this is actually the same when it comes. And again, here, these are actually like columns, but it's better we are storing it in like in a dictionary. This cat got all the information in here. So this JSON is one way of storing data, one way of storing data. Another, as I told you, CSV, or it could be XML, TSV. So in data analysis, data science, machine learning, they do different TSV. It could be even uh, just a uh, Hadoop uh, distributed file system uh, and uh, XML. Yeah, these are just the common and Excel itself also the Excel. Excel, but it has a different name. So these are the different data formats. Even one of the data we most of the time store is just the XT file, a text format, no structure. Then this leads us actually different 
kind of a data structure, structured and non-structured. Most of the time, these are actually kind of structured data, but text data is not structured because you can't make any structure out of text. But here, for instance, this API, it's structured because every cat do have some kind of a schema, like, okay, do I have, it has a weight, ID, name, and every cat to have the same information like that. So JSON stands for something. Why is it called JSON? Uh, the reason why we call it JSON is it's JavaScript object notation. The way it's written is in a kind of a JavaScript object. So we call it JSON. Yeah. But it's, so the, as a programmer, you need to know how to write it or just enough that you understand no, it? Yeah, as I told you, it's just what I showed you at the very beginning when I was writing it somewhere. That's how you write it. It's like, do you know um, dictionary very well? Uh, I think pretty okay. Yes, then there's no much difference. If okay. you know dictionary, you are just okay. For now, you just take dictionary and json are the same okay 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 the difference you see here is like inside the json it's an array and inside the array there are quite lots of dictionaries that's nothing amazing nothing special nothing you learn okay okay it's just a way to store file but in this we can store it here uh, on our local machine with a name uh, i think we have to have a json lesson example.json file, and I can just create, for instance. Mm. It's the same idea as dictionary. Yes. OK. Yeah, this. But as I told you that, if I say age under 50, now, as you can see, it's a rate. The reason why, as I told you a bit earlier, Do you need to put two, two uh, Two lines, as yes. they call it there. Two double code. Yeah, two double code. Okay. Yes, now it's okay. Now we have this as uh, very simple. And now let's just make this a bit bigger. Uh, maybe like let's change to John. And John is a bit younger. And even he may have skills and skills. And now you can just add some skills. Even now it's crying here, as you can see, it needs actually a double quote everywhere. So you would use the JSON when you need to transfer data from to a website or from a website? E, yeah, that, use, uh, uh, yes, yes. The purpose okay. of JSON is actually a way to send the data from a client, from server to client. Now we are accessing this, data this json this from these people the people who are in charge of this, this server yes okay yeah okay thank you we don't pay so for free we are accessing it but some apis yes for instance we can access the corona data we can access cryptocurrency data we can access world countries data we can act if they are provided as an api as in a json or other format okay yes okay thank you so much great so now i think i can just write one additional and done okay so this is a file so example of just and file now instead of printing you guys notice that we managed to fetch the data so let's call it data and store the response dot json and put it here now instead of printing all the cats because it doesn't make sense printing 67 cats we can slice a bit of them p print is fine maybe i think it's better if we just print two cats right like i'm slicing from the json and let's see that Yeah, now I just printed out only the two cats. Yeah, two cats. Now let's, for instance, get the name of the cat. So if I am interested for cat in data, and then I can just print cat 
and the name, right? So it, since it's a dictionary, so this will give me all the cat's name. Oh yeah, as I yeah, this doesn't work that way. So let's just do this. Oh yeah. So as you can see, these are the cat names. We have a Abyssinian, again, American bot, bobtail, American curl, American short hair, American wire hair, Arabian now, whatever. Okay, but we got all the names of the cat here. Yes. Oh, great. So now what, can, what else can we, let's see the temperament. Are they, yeah, temperament is actually their behavior. What kind of behavior do cats, how do we describe? I don't know at least. So let's learn from this API. How do people express the temperament of the cat? It will be very, since it's a description, it's going to be a text. Oh yeah, so as you can see, maybe it's good also. Oh yeah, as you can see, they may say active, energetic, independent, intelligent, gentle, affectionate, social, intelligent, playful, active. Yeah, it's the, this for one cat, another cat. Yeah, active, curious, easygoing, <laughs> yeah, so whatever. Uh, so, a playful, dependent, and I think it's very similar. Most of them, they do have a loyal. Yes, some might be. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Agile, agility, curious, friendly. Can you associate this behavior with cat, guys? Is there something you can associate? Okay. Calm, quiet, easygoing, whatsoever. Yeah, now let's see their weight. Yeah, the weight's the most important. Are you interested? Maybe I can ask you, what is the average weight of a cat? Yep. Uh-oh, it's not actually a number, still it is in a, in a dictionary. So we have to get it out from this dictionary. So we are in Europe, so we go for metric units, SI unit, international uh, measurement. So metric, let's go for metric units, right? Let's do another extraction. I can say metric, yep. So now, oh no, it doesn't go that way. I have to just press this, mm -mm -mm, this. Now, as you can see, I got some, but how can I get this? Because this, the weight of a cat is between three and five, three and five, two, five, four, seven. So this is actually a string. So I have to split it, split, just to split at space. This will allow me to split it. Oh yeah. So I'm interested only this number and this number to get the average. So what I should do, zero, uh, but it would have been much better. So I can say metric weight, maybe weight in metric unit, I can say up to here. And I can store it up to here. Then I may say lowest weight, the worst weight would be weight in metric and zero, the first value, and the highest, highest weight, weight in metric unit. And the second, that means I am extracting, as you can see, zero index, one, and second, two, zero, one, two. So I have to say here, actually zero, one, two. Yeah, great. But it is now, as you can see, it's a string. So I have to change this to int. All the values int, I mean, it's int. I have to change it. Either int and float is okay, because now, but even float might be safe because if you have some kind of uh, decimal number, you may 
lose the value. Then the average, average would be lowest weight plus highest weight divided by two. Yes. Now, instead of just printing this, uh, what? It seems that I didn't split it first. I, ha I have to split this. Uh, where is it? Cut, weight, and then matrix, then split. Split here. So the split, yes, is possible. Then I think we have to have weight. And then I can have this weight dot append the uh, average. Yeah, after we run this, we have to check uh, print the weight of click there. I think weights could be more plausible, right? Because it's a kind of list of weights, yeah? Oh yeah, have you seen now? We got all the weights. But now maybe if you are interested, which one is for what, cat, it's good. Uh, what am I doing here? Uh, it's good to... It is good to put it as in a dictionary. So I will change to a dictionary. How? So I would say I can associate this with, for instance, uh, append now and then. Uh, okay, name is going to be cat name. Okay, the, I'm extracting it out. And then uh, the weight of the average weight. So now, as you can see, I am just as creating a kind of uh, match. And what? Weight is not defined. What do you mean by that? Oh, yeah, because I have to, I'm using dictionary, since a dictionary, so I have to be, uh, create a key. Yeah, so let's see now. Now, instead, as you can see, I am creating like Abyssinian, the weight is for, again, weight is for an American bobtail, the weight is five, American curl, 3.5. As I told you, printing with pprint is more powerful. Let's see now. And uh, yes, look at this. <laughs> Okay, now how about if we are interested also the lifespan? Are you curious how much or how much for how many years a cat can live? Let's see. We can do the same. So what we can do? Let's print out. Uh, print cat. I think that is the lifespan. So we can hear. A uh, lifespan, as you can see. Mm -hmm. So we can do life. It's better even to copy it here. Then I put it here. Great lifespan, but I can just also store it life and and here like this. And then I have to split this also. Uh, then I, I will have a chance to split this. Then this plus this divided by two will be the average, right? Okay. Uh, then again, life span lowest. Uh, lowest. It's going to be life span. Uh, the first value, right? And again the this part and again we have to change this to an int so int and again int now as you can see we are getting many values this average it would be nice if we call it average weight and average weight and now let's see the average lifespan average life span doesn't matter, it's 
my lowest span plus and a high, uh, what is the other? No, why lowest? This should be highest, guys. Oh, you should help me, highest. I had this question and I, I, I thought maybe I didn't understand something because mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw it and then you fixed it. Okay, thanks. Uh, life, because it doesn't make sense writing the same thing two times, right? Yes, yeah. divided by two. Great, now we have the name here, the weight, the average weight, and now again, life span is going to be here. And we can say, average lifespan and now let's see the value as you can see the lifespan it seems 14 14.5 16.5 years okay it seems 19 years almost 20 yeah egyptian okay great Let's see, but they can't make it to 20. It seems like all the cats. Oh yeah. So now I think your task also will be how to calculate the maximum, the minimum and visualizing with math bluff leave. You can visualize the, the data. Yeah, it's not very difficult to visualize the, the data of this. Maybe I can just show you how to visualize after this, you guys, you are advanced user, so you can just math plot, leave a Python library, you go here and learn how to visualize based on the documentation. Hey, documentation, you go here. And of course, sometimes documentation might not be easy to understand, but yeah, it's okay. So now, for instance, let's do some visualization. Yeah, but first, how do we install? We have to install matplotlib. It's here, and you just copy this one, and you install matplotlib. So this is how I do. I copied that and installed that too. Sometimes this the Visual Studio might be problematic, so you just install it on this, uh, what? Okay, you can say pip install matplotlib and yeah, installed properly. So what I should use is just importing. Let me show you how do you import. Uh, actually, you can say from matplot matplotlib dot pyplot. Uh, Okay, if as PLG. This is a common. Maybe if I just forgot something, what you should do, you can hear and see how to use. There, okay. Oh, I should I should see by now. Wait. I can go to homes and see some of the and maybe let's see, click over here, mat, yeah, import matplotlib.py plot. Yeah, it's not from just, we can just import this. And uh, import matplotlib.py plot as PLT. Yeah, then maybe I think easy way to show you. How about if I have X and if I have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, or five and why can I have the double of this? Who can tell me easy way to double this? Yeah, this guys to double this. List compression or n in x. So how about if I do two times x? Is it okay? No, for x, x, it should be n. Yeah, is it okay now? Yes, so you can see what you should do, p plot dot 
scatter, for instance, if you want to, then X and Y. That's what you need, the X axis and the Y axis. And then he plot, then show. That's the maximum you do. And then if you run, oh yeah, have you seen this? Is it familiar to you? As you can see, the value we have, one, two, five, and the other is actually one times two, two, 1.5, three, because our, it's like, yeah. But instead, how about if we create numbers, range, zero to 100. So I'm doing this again. Let's run, by the way, you have to close this now and then. Oh yeah, quite a lot of numbers from zero to 100. And then how about if I want to make it more, for instance, X square, actually, I can make it N square and times two and even plus two times two times X plus nine, a kind of quadratic equation, yeah? So, but it seems not X N, it should be N. I'm generating some value. By the way, if you print this, just first I have from zero to 100, and now I'm just creating some values, random values to just display, okay? Don't be surprised here. Yes, a kind of quadratic equation, but since I started from zero, but if I started from minus 100, and if I go all the way 100, I will get a parabola. Yep, do you know parabola? Okay, let's do that. Oh yeah, great, all these dots, but if you go, if you make this number smaller, you may see the dots, for instance, 20 to uh, 20, but that could be dots because we have very small dots, 20 to 20, about 40 numbers or maybe 41, I don't know, something like that. Yep, so this is scatter. If you don't want scatter, you can change this to float and it will give you something different. Yeah, it's just a line. And if you want to put some value here, clarity dot uh, x level, I call it uh, x axis. And if you call it PLT dot y level, and you can call it y axis. And if you run this again, uh, because you have to stop this, yeah, uh, as you can x axis, y axis, and then maybe you can say PLT dot uh, the title. Uh, oh, no. I tell just title and I can call it X versus Y uh, graph whatsoever. And now let's run this again and you will see. Yeah, so now this could be a temperature or pressure, temperature versus pressure, or maybe yeah, profit versus income or whatsoever. Yeah. All right, now let's make use of this to uh, the cats. We got actually how many, yeah, we have a cat's uh, weight. So if you remember, now we have this, I can call instead of weights because the weights is not anymore having just X, Y. Now we don't need this. Uh, as you can see, no, yeah, I think I should have run it differently. As you can see, we have now lifespan and also weight. So let's visualize this data. Yeah. Okay, how many? Yeah, so if we want, what we should do first, I have to... Uh, 
I have to take out the value. What's the value? X, the value of X is the name, yeah? Okay, so names, I can call it names. The names, uh, so what I, so four weights, I think I can for weights. I think I should change this name to a proper name, another name I could say extracted data, extracted data, because we extracted from the data, we extracted some uh, information. So, extracted data. so now let's say extracted data from extracted data for yeah, our item, one of the item in, we can say item name. So I have to say name. Yeah. So now names. So let's see all the names here. Print names. And I don't have to print this all the time again. Oh yeah, because it doesn't work like that. All the names, great. Yep. So now how about the weights? All the weights, I can do the same for all the weights, right? And I can store it weights. And I have to change this to weight. Now I have to visualize it, uh, plt dot uh, plot, maybe I think it's bar, bar graph, and the X is going to be names names and the value going to be the weights. I think this should give us some kind of a very dense graph. Why? Oh, because I didn't write ability.show. Yeah, the show should be helping us to show something. Uh, I mean, the graph. Oh yeah, but have you seen guys? Yeah, now uh, do you know why I got something like this? Because I have 67 cats and this space is too small for all the cats to, to put here. So let's see, maybe it's better to maybe uh, the highest 10, maybe like we can sort this based on the uh, maybe the most the, the most heaviest cat. Okay, so to do that, first I have to filter the cat's weight. So I have this, then I think the best way is just sorting. So sort it, and then I'm sorting it in reverse true and uh, and after that, I want to slice maybe the first, um, but this is not good now. Do you know why? Because I should have sorted before, uh, before I extracted, because I will get the wrong cat. Yeah. So before I do this, yeah, yeah, I have to do it here. Then sorted cat, I, I have to call it sorted cat. And then, sorted, I have the extracted cat. And what am I going to extract? I can say key, and I can have this lambda. From lambda, you may say just X or cat whatsoever, and based on the, from that lambda, the one we are interested in is actually the weight, X weight. So I'm referring, I'm giving for this, the sorted function to sort based on this, the, uh, the, the, the weight. So reversed again, reverse true. So, is, so if it's reversed, it give me ascending order, then I will slice out. Then after this, actually, and after this, I may just take the first uh, 10 cats as you can see, the first 10 cats, and now I don't have to do this sort because it's sorted out already. And then no, and but this should be actually sorted cat. 
sorted cat but no need to sort in here yeah to remove this it's unnecessary yeah now i think we should get something but again we have to run oh yeah now we're getting closer as you can see oh yeah so as you can see the 10 heaviest yeah the 10 heaviest i can't savannah british uh, short hair or ragdoll whatever yeah turkish van somewhere around uh six something but this one looks it's uh, somewhere close to nine mm -hmm. yeah of course we can make the bar weeds smaller and we can accommodate this to uh, we can make this to accommodate more cats more cats now it's taking only 10 right one two three four five yeah or uh, even if we try to make it to accommodate up to let's go up to 20 so that means the first uh 20 i mean the heaviest 20 cats Oh, now it's a bit, as you can see, crowded. It's hard to read. And uh, uh, let's see. I think, can I make the waves? Maybe uh, three. Let's see if we're making it smaller. <laughs> because it's that's too big. Uh, I think it's uh, 0.3. Yeah, so, but the, it's not, it's not feasible to. Hmm. Even though I'm making it smaller, but it's uh, anyway. It's a bit. Uh, we, it's a bit tricky. It's possible to to make it to fit at least most of the cats. But let's stick into ten, ten most, and this allow us just at least to visualize some good data. And you can produce quite lots of cats. For instance, I want you to uh, uh, make this by yourself. Uh, you can create uh, this, as you can see, this could be a bar graph, uh, United, uh, as you can see, United States, Union 8 cat, Thailand 4, Russia 4, Canada 4. How can you make this? How can you sort this as in a bar graph uh, from this data? You know how to fetch it already. Yeah. Use origin, yes. So do you prefer to solve it by yourself or do you need my help? I think, how do you make this? I mean, this is actually a bar graph. This could be just a bar graph, even though it's displayed on a website. So if you just turn this, like vertical this, it's a bar. assignment for this week. Yeah, that would be good. So guys, try this and solve it by yourself. And then as you can see, the average weight of, yeah, now it's so easy, the average span. Yeah, I can solve this for you because it's already there. And, or, but why I solve everything? It's better if you solve it. What, what do you prefer? I don't know what you prefer. So the average assignment, again, please leave it as assignment someone is asking. Yeah, so you may use also this, I don't know if you have this uh, website already or not, did I share with you? So you can have an idea how the data looks like instead of looking at the API, this might be also helpful. So do you have any question? But now let's just make this reusable function. I want to make this uh, the calling 
uh, I can just take this to a separate function. Uh, I can call it uh, fetch api.py. So to fetch an API, I need this. And then I call def fetch uh, API. And then it should take URL. And then I have to go back from this uh, data, the data we've been working on, where we're this one. Then I need this, maybe as you can see, instead of like cat's URL, I just get in URL and URL, which is coming from here. Uh, then, a return response.json. Actually, this simple a function allows me to fetch data from an API. So after this, I will just make use of this and you do the same. So now let's make use of that function. So I can say from, oh, what? It doesn't say fetch. All right, so it's fetch, it says now fetch right now from fetch API, import fetch API. I am importing this function. And then, uh, then I don't need all this because it was experimenting, right? And then we don't need this, we don't need this all. So I was just explaining this, but I need this URL. So I have to make use of the fetching, fetch API, and I have to use the URL. You can call it cat's URL, but just let it call it URL. And then you pass URL. Now, yeah, it's, it's more, as you can see, more elegant and you can use this fetch api anywhere you want yeah this is more clean right uh, but you know you have to try if it is working uh, what where am i So my trials opened and let's try again. Okay, see we three Python and the fetching API. Yeah, as you can see, still working, so no problem. So if you want to save this, by the way, it's so easy to save. What you should do, you go all the way down here, plt.save, and as in cats, wait, and their name. Names, cats, names, cats. names now for the time being like cat's name and their weight so if i end dot png i think it would be good and of course i have to have this as in a name as in plt dot title and what am i doing Title and of course, plt dot x level. It's going to be names and plt dot y level. It should be weight in kilogram. Yeah. So now let's create again a new, and then I think this would be cat's uh, weight. As in a, a proper file name is much better 
like this. Yep, as you can see, we have we have it here, and it has as you can it has names names of cat and weight in kilogram. And if you want to see me reduce this later, it's here again. Yep. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, because the reason why it's deprecated is because you see it here. And if you make it bigger, it's the same. You can go and check the advanced. Uh, where is it? If you open it here. Mm -mm, not really, it's a bit deprecated, yes. So this is not the same as we got when we were, so we have to. Now, do you know guys, I don't know how to, yes. How to, how to keep um, lots. image layout while saving. Someone might have asked already, have you seen removing white space around and save image? And so what you should do, maybe I think this could help. And let's try. And since it has the same name, it might be overridden. So let's try. Okay, we don't have any problem with this one, but the problem we have is the one it's saved, right? Let's see, do we have the saved one? Okay. Okay, let's go to this week's Still no, no. Uh, so let's keep searching and actually find a better solution after trying. Answers. No, no, that's not the answer. And by the way, you can also keep the figure size. Uh, I think you can fix this uh, uh, by yourself. Um, maybe I can try this. Uh, if this doesn't work, I just keep this for you or task, right? Nice. Um, but before saving would be layout. And let's run it once more. What's the problem in here? Invalid argument. Where? Okay, it's going on here very well. Is it going better here? Where is it? It doesn't seem really okay. And it doesn't seem okay, but so I think, but there's a solution I have. Uh, I have fixed this kind of problem before. So we don't have time for that. But if we come back to the Plot lib uh, uh, library again. We work on that. But how about if you work on visualizing the weight itself, just visualizing the weight, the lifespan, and from what countries they come from? I think in that case, you learn how to use this, uh, the API. And even you may create a word cloud from this. this uh, it's an assignment, everything from the description. For instance, Arabian Maokats are social, energetic. Uh, what's a word cloud? I may show you what word clouds. Word cloud, uh, Python, Python maybe just 
uh, you may get, uh, yeah, I, for instance, this is just an example. Mm, I may get some example made by data come somewhere. So I just, yeah, this is a word cloud. Yeah, word cloud. A word cloud. Or you can make a word cloud from a different, yeah, have you seen this? So why do you have to make it? No, there's already a package, a Python package that allows you to make word cloud. So for instance, this, the topic for this one, I can see it's all about uh, big data and relate to data. Um, uh, this is could most probably this, for instance, is related to web, web scraping, because they uh, like process quite a lots of text and then the most frequent word tells you um, tells you about the topic. Yeah, this one is related to maybe fire and yeah, fire. The cause of fire, Mo most of the time smokers might cause fire, right? And this one is related to networking, social media. So have you seen now, I managed to actually understand uh, the word cloud, the topic that they, what they process, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is related to Python, the importance of Python language or the use of Python language or whatsoever, I know. And this is related to machine learning, related to data, yeah? Now I think you got the point. Uh, maybe this might be personal development, success, achievement, yep, oh yeah. It's nice, right? Yes, so if you make a, uh, this from this, from the different, you merge all the texts together and then you create a cloud, a word cloud. And then we will see the most frequent word. Do you know how to calculate most frequent word? Okay, let me show you maybe I think, yeah. Uh, so now let's just uh, comment this out uh, because we don't like to. Okay, what's the data, extracted data we have here? Uh, maybe you can just keep that one, but data, we don't have to extract uh, for uh, value or maybe item in data and then print item. If I am, I maybe instead of saying item, I can call one of the cat, right? From one of the cat, I'm interested in the description. Yep. If I just print now, it will be quite lots of description. Oh yeah, look at it guys. Oh yes. Do you like, so first we have to clean this. Yeah, we have to clean this. Maybe I think, how do we, uh, maybe you can also split you and change it to word, split. If you do this splitting, by the way, you will get a list of words instantly. Oh yeah, but I think before you split, you have to clean it. For instance, this is not a word because it don't, what does that mean? We don't need this. We don't need this column. So first we have to remove. Is it difficult to remove? Not actually, we can just remove unnecessary. Uh, for instance, you may use regular expression, but we didn't learn it. Guys, are you familiar with regular expression? Let's see if you're reg Okay, maybe I think you can work on this one. Uh, you can work on this one, but it's uh, first what I would recommend you just change everyone to one text. Uh, so text, you can make it like this and the best way to do even before you split, you can just concatenate everything together. So how do you do that? Uh, text, text plus this. 
concatenate. Then if you print this at the end, you will have a huge text. Read. Now, but all the time what you should be aware that there should be a space when you uh, concatenate in. So I'm not sure if I have spaces when I am concatenating them. Let's see. It starts from here, right? The BC in the end and all the way. It seems it's okay. Now the next step, what you should do, remove the punctuation. So how do we remove? Let me just do import regular expression, right? Yeah. From a regular expression, we have this substitute. Yeah. We can say substitute, and then we can say regular expression. If, for instance, I can say, if I can say, now, this means if it's not A to B or capital to D, or if not uh, space, then I'm about to remove this, anything. Uh, but with what? I am replacing everything with a space. And then I have to what? Which one? Actually, the text. Okay. Then what's the text? Actually, I have to have here all the text together. Then the text. And then what I'm storing here actually going to be clean the text. What? Clean the text. Uh, now, if I am printing, print, clean the text, I should have a clean the text version of that. Uh oh, this is not what I was expecting. So I made some mistake. So I have to check. You help me. So I'm, I was trying to remove, actually. So now maybe I made regular expression substitute there's a small b it should be a to z yeah sorry a to z so i made uh, that minor oh yeah now it, this seems what we were looking for right yep it seems this is what we were looking for yep so what's the next step you should do split it at the space then you just split them at space and then you call them words right words then clean the text dot split and then if you see now uh, print p print actually p print just words and do i have p print yeah i have at the top and let's run this and now you are, oh yeah, let's see if our, yeah, it seems like very clean text, but now something I forgot because we have to lower them because we don't like to count the same word twice. So I think the very good point to lower them here or here, I think here. First, we have to change to lowercase. Yeah, everything. Now, I will show. Yeah, so we have 15 minutes. Let's discover what's the most frequent word in this list. What's the most frequent word? Love something? I don't know. Shall we do it in a, an easy way or the hard way? First, let's do it in a hard way and later the easy way. Okay, the hard way, we have to write our own function. We can say dict. 
So because it's a word dict uh, going to be a um, kind of a dict. So dict, um, let's uh, create a dictionary and empty. So I have to for a word in word is, I have to create,